So wait, I don't have my crochet. Ah, it'll work. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys have been doing well. I have been doing great. I actually really wanted to make this video. I almost couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited. And so I really want to make this video for you guys. This is beginner friendly and I hope that you can make your own craft at home. Let me show you what I have made in the past few days and I'm going to show you what I have made and what I'm selling in my Depop shop. And this is how I'm going to show you guys how to make the Bala Club. The recent two that I have made are this one, but it just makes it more unique and like stylish in my opinion. And I think my crocheting after all of these months have has really like is now starting to transform. So this one is just a cute like smaller version and it's going to go like that. Hope that's not too loud the vent <clears throat> hope i'm louder so what you're gonna want to do you're wanna gonna start to unravel a little bit of your yarn okay but not too much because knots do come quicker and sometimes out of the blue what we're going to do is you're going to need to grab the correct crochet hook for your yarn you're actually going to want to make sure that you know how many inches is around your net some measuring tape so i know that mine is 15 with some room and it goes up. I know that mine is about 15 inches. I'm going to make sure that my whole base of my balaclava is 15 inches, okay? To start making your knot so that we can start making the chains, okay? So now you have your little circle and you're going to go like this. And we're going to chain, I know that it's 58 stitches or 58 chains because 58 chains is equivalent to 15 inches. So I'm going to do 58 chains. So one, two, like you grab the yarn here and you pull it through the circle. Okay? You grab your yarn there and you pull it through the circle. Grab your yarn there, pull it through the circle. Okay, grab your yarn there, pull it through the circle. Okay, so there you can see the little chain effect. Okay, so I'm going to do 58 chains. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you can see the kind of braid effect that the chain makes, okay? You're going to keep the braid part face out and you're going to slip through the chain, as you can see. So you're going to slip in the bottom of it, make sure that the two, two are on top. And then you're going to wrap around your yarn and you're just going to pull that through. Okay? So make sure that after you make it a loop, all of the braiding type chains are outside. Do the stitch. So I'm going to wrap around my crochet hook. You see that there's this yarn, the top, then there's this one. We're going to go into there, the bottom of the chain. You're going to wrap around your hook again. And you're going to pull that through and then you're going to wrap around the hook again and you're going to pull through one wrap around again and pull through two okay so that's the stitch that we're going to be doing so now i'm going to show you guys how i did that again so you're going to wrap around the hook you're going to see one two you're going to go in here you're going to wrap around the yarn pull it through Wrap it around, pull two, wrap around, pull two. Okay, so I'm going to do this for um, six rows because if we're going to do a long neck, we're going to want to do six rows. You can do three rows, four rows. I like four rows. Six might be a bit hot because I know that my winter coat is very warm or at least it keeps a lot of my heat in. 
so maybe I'll do four rows. So I'll come back to you guys when I've done four rows of this, and maybe I'll come back when I'm done the full first row so you can see what it looks like. Okay, now that you have all even around, you're going to take this, you're going to go into this chain here, the chain on the opposite side, on the first chain, you're going to stick it through, you're going to wrap your yarn around, and then you're just going to pull it through there, and that should close it, and then now you have officially your first row completed. An important note to take is now that we have we have just this one, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and you're going to need to pull through to have now two, okay? And that's just going to make it easier for you to go back into the stitch and also after it's going to be a nice neat no hole area in the back because you don't want there to be any holes so now you can just continue once you get to the end of the row you realize that there's like this gap and then even if you go into here to close it and pull it there's still kind of like that big circle we don't really want that so what you're going to do is you're going to want to wrap around your yarn again and see right here there's a stitch you're going to go in there do the whole thing again wrap around go like that and then boom now you have it and then now it makes it easier for you to finish off the row and now there's like no hole ha 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 so now we have the band done so if we go and grab our other one that's our band okay flatten it out we'll actually pull the string so it doesn't come out okay so for my face at the bottom we're doing five inches right so that means that from here to here is going to be the opening so five inches so for my face that's what I've been doing okay so for you can do the same so going to kind of make it centered I need some extra yarn for now I'm just gonna put this here okay and then, so this was seven I believe this is six one two three four five six I'm gonna put that through there and then that should be our five inches right perfect so that's how many rows you're going to keep doing until it gets to here and once it gets to here then we'll work on the next one so i'm going to show you me doing that you don't you don't want it to go high because as you can see that kind of causes so that's why it's important for us to do this stitch just for now just so that we kind of are keeping it balanced so you go in wrap it around you pull through wrap it around and then you pull through and then you could barely see that it did an uh a stitch so you're just gonna go in grab your yarn pull through wrap around and pull through okay so you're just gonna do that and this is only going to be until we reach the marker which is the aka the orange <laughs> string of yarn and that's when we're going to stop and then stop doing this and then going back to the regular stitch that we were doing on here. Now that you see that we've made it to our stop part, we're going to take this out. We don't need it anymore. And now we're going to rotate it. Okay. And we're just going to go from there all the way back doing our regular stitch that we were. So we're going to make it two and then you're going to wrap your yarn go in pull through two and pull through one and then that's going to be as you can see that's starting the beginning the balaclava so then we're going to come here and we're going to do that so now I'm going to go all the way around here until I hit here and then we just keep going here. Boom, boom, boom. So that we have the front place, the front space for the hat, 
okay? So I'll see you when I'm at the blue marker, aka the blue crochet hook. Okay. So now I just finished. So now you can see that we have this pot side and this side and this is all open. You're going to keep going around until it is five inches up here. So where is this? Okay. So boom, it's five inches and perfect, five inches. So now that we're here, I'm going to attach it back. So what I have to do in order to make sure that this works perfectly is very, very simple. So all I have to do is count how many stitches are here. And then I have to chain as many as there are. And 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay? Don't worry if like right now it doesn't reach fully, it will be reached fully. Okay, so we want to make sure that the braided side is facing the front into the side. And then you're wrapping it around and then you're just going to pull through just like that. And then now you have that attached and now it's going to be us working on the top. Right back to you guys. The braid side is facing you, and then you just go under the two, wrap it around, and do the regular. You do it again. Make sure it's facing you, not, not facing like that way. And then you go under two, pull through, you wrap it around. Okay? And then now, when you're here, you see that there's kind of one that is like loose like that. What you're going to do is you're still going to wrap around, you're still going to go in there. There you go. And then you're just going to continue on the row. So I'm just going to go here, I'm going to get it to the next area. There you have it. Okay, it starts the next row. But now, since we're working on the top part, we want to make sure that now we're starting to close it. So as you see, the circle, so we can tighten it. And as you see on this one, we have to start making the circle so that it can start tightening it. Here is what I've been doing is I've been doing a stitch. So two, or I've been doing one, two, and then maybe three and then I go actually so I do two and then I'm going to take skip one I did two and then I'm gonna skip this one and go right here but I'm gonna also do it like this you go in you pull the up, loop around you pull up and then you pull through that way it's going to do decreases so that we can make a circle because we can't make a circle with all these stitches or else it'll like make just another neck basically. So we need to start doing some decreases. So every two stitches I do a decrease. So you go in, you got one stitch, you get two stitches and then you skip this one and you go do a decrease. A decrease is when you're decreasing the number of rows here. So I'm only doing it on the head part. I'm not doing it on this until the third row. So once I go around and get to here, I'm going to do this regular and then I do everything with a decrease. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing the two and the decrease. So now I'm at 
the front so I'm just going to do the regular stitches And this you want to keep regular just because to make it a little more stronger as the front band. And then as we decrease, you'll know that it'll be more structured rather than decreasing too soon on this band part. So once I go and do this row, I'm going to continue another by doing the two and the decrease. And then once I finish that row, we'll see how it is. And then I'll let you guys know the next thing that I usually do. So now that we are at the end of the row, I'm just going to go in there. Okay, so now that I'm here, I'm going to be, oops, I'm going to be doing two and a decrease. So, one, two, and a decrease. Okay. And you don't need to be pulling it too tight either because obviously this is going on your head and you do want to have some area to maneuver and you want the yarn to not be too tight because you have to think about, you know, how your yarn works when you wash it and, you know, you also just don't want something too tight on your head because then <laughs> it's not going to be something you want to wear for a long period of time. So I'm just kind of doing this loosely and then it'll be very good to wear every now and then. So now I just did two stitches and so I gotta do two stitches again. It's making the more curvy part and decrease in for the hat. Okay, so now I'm just gonna continue doing that and once I finish this row, I'll come back um, to show you for the next row. Through. And I'm going to jump three, one, two, three. And I'm going to do one, two, three. Okay. And then that's basically closed. One, two, get that third one. There we go. And your crochet hook, and you're going to pull through. You're going to grab your scissors and you're going to cut it. And then you're going to pull this through. Pull it. And since this is the outside of the hat, you're going to want to take your crochet hook, put it inside where the loop would be, and then so you're just going to get it as close as possible, poke it right through, and then you're going to bring the yarn inside the hat, give it a little pull so that it's nice and flat on the top, and then you're just going to knot it up. So then I usually just grab a, sh a little piece down here, wrap it around, you're just going to make a knot. So it's going to go like that, and then I usually, just to be sure, oh sorry for the <laughs> swinging, just to be sure I go in and I loop it like so. It is complete. Nice little touch. Winter time. And I just love it. You know, I could even put some more border down here so you could always just switch it up, whatever you like. And yeah. So this is what I'm going for. I might put a little purple there, but we'll see. But yeah, you have it. This is like the basic kind of main steps to do. And obviously you can use your creativity and work with what you got. Okay guys, 
Feel free to like, comment, and share. Enjoy the, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you. Peace.